Good afternoon. This is Diana. Uh, today I want to offer a meditation uh, that I've been working with myself and it's very meaningful but also challenging. Um, so it's a forgiveness meditation. So first we want to start by warming up the body, getting rid of any kinks, of any tension, so we can actually sit comfortably in the meditation. Um, so let's go ahead and just uh, circle around in a Sufi grind. So we're going to sit on our seat bones, cross leg at the best you can, and just move around the center of your spine. Breathing out as you drop forward, breathing in as you stretch back, creating a big circle around your tailbone. And let's reverse direction. Just opening up the side body. Any tension below the shoulder blades. Just breathe through whatever you find, resistance or stagnant. And come on back to center. And let's go ahead and do a spinal flexion and extension sitting upright with chest moving the spine, allowing the chin to be neutral. So inhale, exhale as you flex and extend the spine. Allowing the rib cage to lift, the diaphragm expand, allowing more air to come into the lungs, increasing the lung capacity, and making the spine flexible, and getting any movement, any kinks out of the way, so we can have a good seated meditation. Three more times. Good, and come on back to center. Let's extend the legs for a moment. Inhale, bring the arms up, bend the knees and reach towards your toes. And let's go ahead, exhale forward, inhale, lift the head and chest. Down and up. Last one, exhale forward, hold the pose here, squeeze the navel to the spine, extend throughout the back body. Exhale, letting go through the out breath. Two more breaths as you hold the forward fold. Inhale, rise, bring the right leg out to the side, left knee bent, inhale, arms up, let's reach over to the right, inhale, exhale, four times. Exhale, switch. In, 
inhale tall spine exhale reach over the left leg Last one, bring it up, cross the legs, release the arms, and let's release the shoulders, inhale, up, exhale, down. Squeezing the tension out as we inhale, releasing it out as we exhale, and a few more. Squeeze, 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 and hold. Feel the tension, and exhale, release it all. Great. Now let's move the rib cage a little bit. Hands to the shoulders, fingertips forward, your thumb is back. So let's go ahead, inhale, twist left, exhale, right. Shoulders forward circles. And backwards. Great. Left elbow forward, right elbow back. Create a diagonal stretch. Changing, exchanging the energies from left to right and right to left. Great, and switch right elbow forward, left elbow back. All right, come to center. Let's bring the chin to the chest, exhale. Circle to the right, just a half circle, looking over the shoulder. And all the way around, inhale. Reverse. All right, let's come back to center. At this point, find a comfortable seated position where you can be still for about 20 minutes. Uh, we can be sitting on a blanket to raise our seat bones a little bit. That way it becomes more comfortable. See, it is important to be able to sit still in this meditation. So we allow everything to be processed and resolved through the mind. Uh, not the body at this point. That's why we did the body work first. Um, so it's a Buddhist type of meditation I learned many years ago, but I have not practiced it um, until recently again. So it is called uh, forgiveness meditation. It has the purpose to clear our blockages connected to past experiences of resentment, grudges, pain, misunderstandings that we tend to hold on to unnecessarily, unwillingly, and sometimes even unconsciously. 
this so we're gonna sit upright connect with the breath and we'll start with the simple phrase I forgive myself for not understanding for not understanding what you may wonder not understanding a circumstance, an event, a situation, a person, a discussion, a point of view, whatever we came across that we misunderstood and we became reactive to, that could have caused us pain, suffering, and resentment. And all of these emotions do get stored in the body. So this is not necessarily a pleasant meditation at first. So it is recommended to be done for a long time because at first the conscious mind is not open to this idea into going deep into the subconscious and dig some stuff that we may not want to see because it can be disturbing at first. It can be painful because we are digging into some unresolved stuff. And if we live it unresolved, we may just go on like we always have, but it is a burden, it is a stored negative energy that will affect us energetically, physically, mentally, and um, in our relationships, in our connections, in, even in our connection with ourselves. So first, we have to forgive ourselves. I forgive myself for not understanding. I forgive myself for going against my will. I forgive myself for not giving myself space or time for the times that I have pushed myself to do the things I didn't want to do when I was with the people I didn't want to be with when I stayed in a job that I didn't want to be in, and so forth and so forth. Things will come up, whatever your circumstance was, you will come to surface in this meditation. And this is not to bring it up to relieve it, it's to review it, understand it, and let it go. We're not gonna relieve the event, the situation, we're not going to allow the emotion to come up and leave the event. We want to just review it and release it so we can be free of it. And it is a meditation that is going to bring us loving kindness and compassion as well. So if we let go of this, resentment, guilt, shame, fear, whatever it is connected to those events, we're going to be more open and we can forgive those events and let them go and they will not affect our energy anymore. So now we can go further and say, I forgive myself for causing myself and others suffering. and see what comes up with this phrase. Connection to yourself, in connection with others, family, friends, relatives, workplace. We all had misunderstandings conflicts and now these painful events come back into our awareness we see them as they are we're not going to relieve them we review them so we apply the 3a technique here like in my other meditations we acknowledge whatever arises. We allow it to be for a short time so we can see it, and then we let it go, we abandon it. And 
And this meditation is an act of kindness and generosity towards ourselves and others. It is a gift we can offer to our own selves and to others around us that were involved in the situations that we are in ourselves. And sometimes because these things are embedded and suppressed and repressed and strangled down deep inside of us, they may not come up the first few meditations. So you may sit here three, four days in a row and nothing happens because the conscious mind is in control and is afraid to go there and out of this keen protection for yourself, it doesn't want you to go there but we will go through that phase when we actually sit longer and we go deeper and maybe we spend a week and nothing happens and then something surfaces and then you sit with what arises acknowledge allow abandon a memory a thought an idea a situation and we forgive it and let it go. And we forgive even our own negative thoughts that may arise right now. They may say, oh, this is stupid. Why do you sit here trying to do what? Um, well, forgive that too, because your mind is going to try to find excuses not to do that job. Stay connected with the breath and have this forgiveness in your heart. And let the mind go wherever it needs to go. You will try to scan for something in your past, many, many years ago, or it can even be yesterday. And as soon as it finds something, it comes to surface. And you see it, review it, let it go. It's a process of it's a process of cleansing and clarifying our energy field, our mind, our thoughts. It so happens that these energies store get stored in the body, but also mainly in the mind, and we create patterns of the mind that are connected to those experiences. And our mind gets really tight every time we think a thought similar to that or any time we experience something similar to that first event. So in a way we are relieving this on and on unless we forgive it and we heal it and we let it go. So it's felt in the brain being tight. It gets like this meninges, this membrane that wraps around the brain starts to tighten up and we feel constriction. We feel our thoughts being strong and hard and uncomfortable. So that's what we would feel as we meditate uh, with this forgiveness meditation. And we soften, we relax, breathe, and let go. Another thought, another emotion, another event arises. A person, a situation. Whatever they said or done to you, it was done, it's not now, it's done and over. Review it and let it go for good, for your own sake, not for their sake. Because you want to let go of this burden that keeps your heart closed off, keeps your mind reactive and all these patterns we created around our life events.
and bring a smile every now and then. We have to remember to smile in the meditation to lighten up the mind, to relax the body. So bring a tiny Buddha smile at the corners of your lips, a smile at the corner of your eyes, and a big smile in your mind. So this meditation can be also brought into our daily lives to help this be processed faster. So as we walk, we can step forward, left foot, we say, I forgive myself. Right foot, I forgive you. Or you can say, I forgive you, you forgive me. In order to release this situation with the person in your life. Instead of thinking stupid, crazy, repetitive, monkey mind thoughts, we can say, I forgive myself. Say that to yourself as you walk, as you drive, as you move around. So you can be more meaningful and it will help you a lot faster and your progress would be much deeper and more meaningful. And this is not a meditation with the expectation for the other person to forgive you. In case there's two people involved, you want to forgive them at your end. You'll be their job to do it at their end, so it's not your concern right now. You just want to unleash this energy that connects you negatively with that person or situation, and that's all you can do. You can't even want to ask them to forgive you because it's a generosity kindness meditation. It's not you trying to have control over the situation or the event. It's just for you to be released, to be free, to be unleashed of this connection, this cord that holds you back. The last few minutes will be really quiet, but remember everything that comes up. You triple A. Acknowledge, allow, abandon. And come back and smile, release and relax. And come back to the object of meditation, which is forgiveness. Toward yourself first, and then towards others. When a thought gets really heavy, smile. And you'll feel sensations in your body. Heat will arise, your heart may race, your mind will go crazy, he wants to move, he wants to jump. You just apply the three A's and come back to your object of meditation.
And it is best to practice this meditation for at least 63 days. 21 days was the old way of doing this, but in 21 days we barely build a habit. And then in 21 more days we want to sustain it. And then in the next 21 days it's really going to be embedded in the subconscious and it's really going to see the fruits of our work can be seen in our life, in our experience. So try it out, see how you do. Uh, don't give up at first, things will be very resistant, they may not come up, but as you see it half an hour each time, each day, things will start to arise and you start to see um, that you can do the work. So I hope it wasn't too hard or too, uh, it's kind of deep and kind of nasty at first, like I said. So see um, what um, benefits you get and I'm very grateful that you are here and willing to try this and give us any feedback. Namaste.